Today we will see, how Nikola Tesla invented this beautiful fountain. This beautiful fountain can also be used as a heat exchanger, and then, we will see the simple model developed by Nikola Tesla. Fountains available in the 19th century were installed for decorative, and beautifying purposes, but they were not offering a pleasing impression to the eyes. Artists have lavished, all their skills upon them, to make them look beautiful, but engineers neglected them. And then, into this neglected field, entered Nikola Tesla. He came up with a new design of fountain. And things changed forever. So, let us discuss the fountain designed by Nikola Tesla. Welcome to my channel, Science, Engineering, Technology, Simplified. Fountains in the 19th century failed to attract their audience, because the quantity of issuing fluid was small. This was because, in all such fountain, independent pumps of small volumetric capacity, were used to raise the water to an appreciable height, and the same water was circulated again. Therefore, the pleasing impression on the eye was, solely the result of the more, or less artistic arrangement of the streamlets, and ornaments employed. There were other disadvantages also, like the fountains consumed, a considerable amount of energy. And also it provided a facility for breeding of insects, because only a small volume of water was set in motion, so a large volume of water was needed for the operation of the fountain. Therefore, Nikola Tesla designed a fountain, and solved these problems. The objective of his design were, to increase the volume of fluid in the fountain, and thus get a fascinating spectacle of a large volume of fluid in motion. To decrease the energy consumption, in the production, and maintenance of a veritable waterfall. So, let us discuss the fountain designed by Nikola Tesla. Tesla's fountain consists of a receptacle of material such as metals, glass, cement, marble, or any other suitable compound, with a central hub, and a conical conduit, which is flared out at the top. The conduit is funnel-shaped for reasons of economy, and also for the purpose of reducing the speed, and securing a smooth, and even overflow. This conical conduit is provided with openings at the bottom. In the hub is inserted, a shaft. This shaft is rotatably supported on ball bearings, and carries at its lower end, a friction pulley, or a gear wheel. In order to prevent the wetting of the bearing of shaft, the central hub of the receptacle is made to project above the conduit. To the upper end of the shaft, is fastened a casting, preferably of some non-corrosive alloy. This casting has blades attached to it, and it works like a screw propeller. A motor is suitably mounted, so as to transmit the power to the pulley, through a wheel. The opening of the conical conduit may be covered, with a removable strainers and receptacle may be provided with convenient connections for cleaning and renewing the liquid. Now, we will see the working of this fountain. First, receptacle is filled to proper level with water or other fluid and the power is turned on. Now, the propeller blades are set in rotation and the fluid drawn through the opening is lifted to the horizontal flared out top of conduit until it overflows, in the form of a circular cascade. This looks very beautiful, and the impression produced on the observer, is very striking. Therefore it is used in, private dwellings, hotels, theaters, concert halls, parks, and many other places, in which it may be carried out on a large scale, so as to afford, a magnificent spectacle to the public. Now, let us check, whether the objectives of Tesla's were fulfilled or not. We can see that in Tesla's design, a large volume of fluid is flowing in the form of circular cascades, which is providing a magnificent spectacle. To get more beautiful display, we can use illumination, which can be carried out in many ways, and to heighten the effect, a colored, opalescent, or phosphorescent fluid, may be employed. Therefore, 
Tesla's first objective has been achieved. Now, let us get a rough idea of the energy consumed by the fountain designed by Nikola Tesla. Suppose, 150 gallons per minute, of fluid is required to be pumped up to the top of the conical conduit, which is at, say 2 meter height. Therefore, work done by the shaft, in one minute will be approximately, 11,129 joule. Therefore, power reuired by pump will be, 185 watts. Means, nearly 0.25 horsepower motor will be sufficient. Therefore we can see that, a less amount of energy is required in the production, and maintenance, of waterfall in the Tesla's fountain. So Tesla's second objective has been achieved. Now, beside providing a beautiful view, Tesla's fountain has other advantages and uses also. So, let us have a look at them. First, here the circulation of the liquid is extremely rapid, therefore, the total quantity of liquid required is extremely small. About one-tenth, of that delivered per minute, be generally sufficient. Second, due to rapid circulation of water, insects were not able to breed in it, instead it acted as a very efficient trap for them. Third, this Tesla's fountain can also be used, to cool the surrounding atmosphere. Since, a large volume of water is circulated, therefore a fan can be attached to the free end of the rotating shaft, and the water may be cooled artificially. In this way, Nikola Tesla was successful in making a new design of fountain. Beside this new design, Tesla also gave a simplified design of fountain. So, let us have a look at that also. In the simple design, the receptacle is replaced by an independent tank, or basin, and the entire apparatus consists of a funnel-shaped conduit, motor, and a propeller. Here, the propeller is fixed directly to the shaft of the motor, and the motor is fixed to the supports, which extends from the inner side of the funnel-shaped conduit. This funnel-shaped conduit is provided with intake openings, and it rests on a substantial base. This simple design of Tesla's fountain, is used in open basin, or reservoirs, where it can be placed and put in action at short notice, and when it is desired to produce a permanent waterfall, then the fountain design shown earlier is used, and the conical conduit is formed by masonry of appropriate architectural design. In this way, Tesla made the fountain look beautiful by his new design. Hey, it takes a lot of effort, to make this kind of videos. Please encourage us, by your like and subscribe if you got something new to learn from this video.